Good evening, world. I got an email from Daniel, who's one of the participants in the, op the Open Source Ecology Summer of Extreme Design Build. We're talking about marketing. So here we have um, exploration of target markets where in a SummerX announcement for the Summer of Extreme Design Build, we have uh, pretty much identification of, of target markets, which I wrote, which is, for example, if you are people considering a career change towards a meaningful area of endeavor, that's definitely a, a target audience. College students looking for applied hands-on skills and learning to balance their curriculum. Well, yeah, I wish I got that practical training in my college. Um, teachers who want to expand the open source microfactory, to expand to the open source mi microfactory in their curriculum. So, naturally. And then competitive students looking to pad their college applications while simul simultaneously exploring a mind-opening experience. So. Daniel says, if one or more of these are important target audiences, these benefits need to be expanded and expanded in detail so that the reader can connect the dots and see the inherent benefits of the program. Okay, so I'm asking Daniel to, to expand on that, and Daniel asked me to, um, for me to talk freely about um, what the target markets mean. So let me, let me expand a little bit on this. So what, what are the target markets? People considering career change toward a meaningful area of endeavor. So what that means is I know a lot of people who, who talk about uh, being visionary or doing good work for the world, but they feel like they're trapped in their job. Um, so uh, i.e. the crap job thing where more than 50% of the population uh, say they do not like their work. So career change towards something that matters a meaningful area of endeavor because a lot of people have high skills and um, you know but their job is not aligned with what they want to do they, they're feeling uh, that they're missing some meaning so that kind of target audience we really want to reach out to because here we're saying okay there's job opportunities at the end start your micro factory start producing cordless drills uh, teach with us in the open source micro factory steam camps run the uh, you know learn enough to be an instructor or to actually either replicate the steam camp or the entire sum of extreme design build imagine after the steam camps we have uh, now which are run in multiple locations running multiple locations of the summer of extreme design build so that means physical real physical event budgets of over hundred thousand dollars in materials and time and many people's um, s um, contributing to that so it's a real excellent opportunity but you have to be entrepreneurial to do that but that is a little career change if you want something with meaning but if you want to be doing the summers where you're doing open collaborative development for your 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 job that's it uh, that's that's the first point people considering career change towards a meaningful area of endeavor so out of the cubicle into the real world second college students looking for applied hands-on skills learning to balance their curriculum well, uh, the farther I went in my PhD, in my schooling, the more useless I felt. I talked about it in, in, uh, in my TED talk. Um, I think the, the s skills learning in schools, even though a lot of schools are waking up, they're going into now you want to be collaborative, you want to be global in your outset, have multiple skill sets, so your high value, learning to do with complexity. But um, thing that's missing definitely in schools is a lot of the applied hands-on skills so if you're a student who's just studying theoretical knowledge this is about real applied knowledge to changing the world around you in a tangible way so uh, what's a good example of that um, for me let, let me give you my example uh, during my college years I studied everything I could get, get my hands on in terms of permaculture sustainable design this and that and then I got out to factory farm right here and I discovered I was useless, just like I said about my college. Um, basically, the first learning was uh, I couldn't do any agriculture. It was hard. The weeds kill your, your operation. The tractors broke down. Um, practical skills as far as that, I was simply not ready. I read all the books. I thought I could do everything. And then I found the reality, um, namely that things are complex in real life and they don't work like you think. So that's the applied hint hands-on skills that people need to get to be really valuable and change the world around them. So next, teachers want to expand an open source microfactory in their curriculum. So that's a good one. Imagine you're a high school teacher, college teacher, any, any teacher anywhere, elementary even, uh, private schools, public, 
and you want to convert your technical class, like say it's any kind of a design, science, technology, lab, programming class or whatever, technology class, uh, robotics class, and you want to turn that class into a session where you collaborate actively with others so the the skills you you can learn in a, in a summer x or the steam camps allow you to collaborate effectively with large teams so imagine a class where you are having a practical effect you're you're collaboratively developing developing products collaboratively at the end of the day uh, what we talk a lot about is collaborative development towards what what end well, that end would have to, uh, in the most practical sense, if you talk about getting a job after you graduate, well, uh, a lot of the effort out there revolves around producing things, right? So, um, combine the entrepreneurship, practical production, into the school curriculum. You can do that if you're a teacher. Start collaborating not with your students only, but with a global community. And then you can be tackling bigger problems, like you want to design a product or solve some problem um, you can then say I'm gonna take on a bigger challenge because we've got more people and if you can collaborate you can solve larger problems so teachers if you want to expand um, to practical skills building things collaborating with other teams during your class yes that would be that would be one excellent frontier and competitive students looking to pad their college applications while simul simultaneously ex exploring a mind-opening experience. Yeah, I mean, for a lot of kids, a lot of kids want to get into get into a good college, and I think the kind of thing we offer is a very practical, applied skill set. Given that we have some brand recognition as a as a global uh, project for the common good, it classifies as volunteer experience or not volunteer, but 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 um, kind of um, progressive light like volunteer like d diversified experience that's definitely socially conscious environmentally conscious so so yeah just uh, uh, showing if you're a student showing to in your admissions portfolio that you you've got other interests and in practical skills such as we can provide at the at the summer camp a summer of extreme design build uh, so that's the four markets. Let me know what you think. I mean, I can we can identify more. That's just four things that come to my mind. Um, definitely, the thing that's missing here is entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who want to solve pressing issues by collaborating, by working together. Um, we can also talk about that. But there's there's many angles we can take, and that's that's a brief explanation of what what we've got right here.